Hey, it's Ricardo from Fireside Weekenders and the topic today is griddles. We're gonna be talking about and showing you how to season your griddle and why you should be seasoning it. If you wanna watch other how-to videos and join us on our adventures this upcoming spring, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, so the first step that you're gonna do is set your oven to 200 degrees, which we've already done. And then we're gonna set this in there for 10 minutes. The reason why is because you wanna get it to a nice hot temperature before we start applying uh, the oil. And you wanna get all that moisture out of there. All right, so let's talk about why we do this. There's really two main reasons why you wanna season your skillet. Number one is to protect the metal. You wanna make sure that while you're camping or through the, the life of this griddle, that it doesn't start becoming rusty. The other reason is you want a nice non-stick surface. Once you start cooking eggs, pancakes, or, or anything that can really get stuck, things with cheese, you, you wanna make sure that it's gonna come right off very easily. The last thing that you wanna do with a griddle or anything cast iron like this is to wash it with soap and water. Sometimes, in a very rare case, you may need to, but it's important that if you do have to do that, that you season it again. You get it back up to temperature, get all that moisture out of it as quickly as possible. Now, as you're cooking, when you're cooking your bacons, your steaks, your burgers, anything with grease, that's gonna continue seasoning your griddle as well. Now, in order to do this process, you only need a few things. Number one is you need an oven. You don't necessarily need the oven, but you need to be able to get the griddle at a nice, even temperature. By the time we're done, we're gonna be about 450, 500 degrees. The next thing that you're gonna need is uh, something lint-free. I have these Scott's uh, shop paper towels that you can get at Walmart for a couple of bucks. I got two of them for about three, four bucks tops. And the next thing that you need is oil. You're gonna need a nice high heat oil, something like a, a grapeseed oil or vegetable oil. We're actually gonna be using Crisco because that's what we had on hand. You don't want anything like a olive oil, something that um, gets hot really quickly because you're gonna have a lot of smoke. Now that we have it out, we're gonna take and put some oil right on it. And then we're just gonna spread it around. Now you wanna make sure that you get it nicely, even all the way around. Get the sides. And then you wanna, you, you see that I put a good amount of oil in there, but you also wanna make sure you kinda of take some of it out because what you don't want is too much oil where it's going to cause issues when it's done. There's actually pictures of cast iron with too much oil and it causes streaking. Now, the process that I'm using today is uh, the process I learned from Corey from Wandering Weekends. I watched his video, I'll go ahead and link that video up above so you guys can watch it too. He actually restores uh, skillets and cast iron items all the time. So he knows very well how to do it and all the, the process, he documents it very well. So if you want to know a little bit more about it, make sure you watch a couple of his videos that he has on this. 
Now we're gonna do the back over here. You shouldn't have to do this portion every time, but definitely doing it now, it's gonna get a nice protective layer added into the back of this. All right, so now that we have both sides coated in oil, we've removed some of that excess oil off, then we're gonna actually set the oven to 300. And we're gonna put it in for an additional 10 minutes. ahead and get the oven for the final phase and for that we're gonna get the oven to 450 all right so now we can go ahead and get the oven heating up while we're doing that we'll take this out Ooh. All right, I'm starting to see some color. I don't know if it's good color, but it's some color. All right, so let's go ahead and pour more oil on there. There you go. So if you had something like olive oil, that would smoke instantly. It would be smoking right Because now. of the heat. Yeah, kind of like at home. <laughs> when you cook. It is very, very hot. Ooh. So get that oil nice and in there. Maybe wear heat protective gloves. Ooh, caliente. Mucho caliente. I'm just gonna put a little bit more because this is gonna soak it up. I think the other stuff already soaked it up too much. At the end of the day, we are going to take the leftover off of it anyways because we don't want those weird streaks. All right, let's go ahead and put it in to the oven for the third and final round. This time we're gonna put it in for two hours at 450. Let's set the timer. So two hours are up. We're gonna go ahead and take out the griddle and look to see what kind of color it is and put the final coating on it. So hopefully we'll see a nice even color. It's my first time doing it, so wish me luck.
Oh yeah. Wow, that looks great. All right, we can go ahead and turn off the oven because we won't need it anymore. And as you can see, it definitely has a different color to it. It's nice and dark. All right, so the final step to do is to give it one last coating. We're only going to do it on the front part. I think the, the back is nicely protected and coated, so we won't need to redo that again. But the front does need it. So we're going to put a good amount in there. Then we're going to spread it around like we've been doing the other times. Just a nice even coating. Ooh, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Now, this is the important step. You want to... <laughs> <laughs> now, with this step, you want to make sure that you take all the excess off. You want to make sure that you wipe it down nice and even. You do, definitely don't want something super oily, but it does have a nice dark color to it. I'm actually pretty happy with it, especially being my first time. So just make sure you wipe it around nice and even, get everything nicely coated. I'm actually not too happy with these ones because uh, they do have a little bit of lint, but it's actually not too bad compared to regular paper towels. But I'm still probably going to use them. They were cheap. All right, so there you go. Now you shouldn't have any rust issues with your pan. It's nicely protected all throughout the, the sides, top, bottom, everywhere. And it should start building up a nice, smooth surface. When you're wiping it down, I can already feel that it's nice and smooth. So we shouldn't have any problems when we start camping in April. Now, if you want to see us use this for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any other ways that you season your griddle or you have better paper towels that actually don't leave uh, lint on it, let me know, comment in the video below. I would love to learn from you guys as much as uh, hopefully you guys are learning from me. And we'll see you in the next video. You wanna make sure to do this is to have a nice, what the f do they call it? The other reason why you want to do this is to have a nice, what do they call it? Non-stick. Once you start cooking different things like, I don't know, give me some shit. Uh, anything. We're ready to take out the griddle from the second phase or the first phase. Are we in the first phase? Third phase? I don't know. No, I think we're in the first phase. We're at the second phase, but in order to get it ready no, for the- No, this is the second phase. No. Yeah, we put it on in once already.